Uh, I'm representing Diplo Foundation, which is a non-governmental, not-for-profit organization based in Malta. Uh, and uh, within Diplo Foundation, I um, am an online tutor uh, within the Internet Governance Capacity Building Program. I also work as an online research supervisor for the Internet Governance Research Program. And I'm also a Diplo Foundation Alumni Program Coordinator. So you're so, busy. Yes, very busy. <laughs> but back in Moldova, I also uh, run an NGO, which is a non-governmental organization that um, has as a, as a name to promote innovations in education. Uh, well, uh, you cannot share with the participants uh, uh, of the Internet Governance Capacity Building Program what Internet Governance is, unless you are not part of this uh, process. I mean, uh, it's very important to be part of the discussions and participate in the meetings and in the workshops and in the sessions and have the first-hand information and uh, be there at the right time and right place so that when back to, um, to the program and to our participants, we can bring them the updated information, uh, the latest news, uh, the, the hottest issues raised. So uh, this is very, very important to be part of this event. So I'm very happy to... Uh, you know, for the fact that I was able to, to come. But this is due to the Diplo Foundation. Uh, well, um, it's a very tricky issue. It's a, it's a challenge, uh, really. Uh, for me, if I'm speaking about my impressions and my own views, Internet is like the longest street in the world. It's a huge, huge street. It's, it's so long, uh, it doesn't have, well, it has a beginning, but uh, I cannot see uh, the end of the street. Um, there is so much happening in the street. There, there are so many people, so much diversity, there are so many positive things like, well, um, e-learning, uh, online programs, e-commerce, e-banking, e-money, uh, uh, all this contributing definitely to the development of the developing countries um, in the first place. Um, on the other hand, we have things like pornography, um, prohibited uh, content websites, and all kind of information that has a negative impact on the users. Um, and it, definitely there should be some regulation uh, on both, both sides. Uh, this, I, Honestly, I think that it should be a multi-stakeholder approach to governing the Internet because Internet is people and people is Internet. So um, I think it's, it's about different uh, stakeholders who should uh, be able to uh, find a common dialogue and find a common uh, consensus on um, governing it. How I think the first IGF will be able to, to, to you know, bring some light um, uh, in this uh, issue, in this process. Definitely, uh, it's impossible for one stakeholder to be in charge of the Internet. As I said, Internet is people. And people, it's about different people, right? I mean, different cultures, different organizations, different perspectives, different views, different opinions, um, which are all right, because these are people, people's opinions. And uh, as I said, it's a multi-stakeholder approach that should be brought. It's impossible for an NGO to be in charge, for a civil society to be in charge of the uh, issues related to Internet governance, really. I don't see it possible. Neither I don't see governments be in charge of the uh, Internet governance. So it's, uh, as I said, it's a multi-stakeholder approach to, to the problem. I think, well, I researched a bit um, the issue of the uh, languages spoken by minorities, ethnic minorities. Um, and I think one of the, we cannot speak really about the free flow of information. As long as uh, there are people um, on this planet who are not able to promote uh, themselves on the internet uh, due to different reasons, 
uh, first local script, um, access to equipment, to technology, uh, low costs, uh, then it's impossible to be speaking it's impossible to speak about the free flow of information. There are restrictions, and as long as there are barriers and restrictions, free flow of information is not there. So that's... Uh uh, it's the fragmentation of the Internet. I really don't want to see um, a fragmented Internet. I don't want to see uh, well, many, there are opinions according to, it, to which um, if we have separate, like, fragmented internet, they, this might be good. There are opinions according to which this might be not that good. My fear is not to have a, a fragmented internet in the end, like having China having its own internet or India having its own internet or... Um, because this already means that we impose other types of restrictions. And we, again, um, uh, come back to the issue of free flow of information, freedom of speech, multilingualism, diversity. I mean, th that's my biggest fear, not to have it uh, so much fragmented and people become isolated. And then from the technical point of view, I mean, well, I really don't want to see uh, other root servers established or set in other countries. Well, US was the first country. We have 13 basic root servers, which is okay, which is fine, it's functioning. I mean, it's obvious that, that things are working well, but people are making, I th I'm, uh, my fear is not to make it too complicated, because the tendency w within humanity is to complicate things. Uh, keep it as simple as possible and make our life easier. That's, that's, my, that's my wish, actually, so not to complicate it too much. Well, development, development, economic development, economic growth, poverty reduction, access to knowledge, access to uh, new information, to skills, to which will directly have an impact on developing countries, first of all, and uh, will uh, offer opportunities and possibilities for the disadvantaged. Uh, disadvantaged people, um, for the uh, marginalized communities, which I really don't want to see. I, I hate to speak about marginalized communities, people with uh, um, obstacles, barriers in getting access to knowledge or access to information. It's not fair. I mean, everyone was born with the right to uh, benefit from everything that exists on, on this planet. So I really want to see it, um, um, you know, I, I really wish the internet co contributes to that, so that we can finally say that, well, we have this and that and free flow of information and we have multilingualism, we have, uh, I don't know, so many my languages of uh, ethnic minorities on the internet, we can learn about the uh, Lihaya language of Kahera from Tanzania, for example, or from about Gagau's language, which is spoken in the Republic of Moldova by an ethnic minority group, for example. So this is what internet uh, should be contributing to. But um, no doubt it will contribute to the uh, economic development by all means. And this is what I want to help. Thank you so, so much. You're welcome.